isn't it safe to say that as long as Belichick, Brady are in play, we can't? Um, I mean, you can, um, but it's the thing that really strikes me as I've looked at Steelers Patriots games and I look back at the one that they just lost. The Steelers obviously have to play one of their, obviously, uh, have to play one of their best games, and the Patriots have to be a little bit off. But it's not even so much that as the type of game that has to play out. The Patriots can beat you in so many different ways, offensively and defensively, but especially in terms of how they can control the game um, in possession or how quickly they can score if they're so inclined, uh, as you saw in their historic comeback to win the Super Bowl. The answer is yes, but you need Le'Veon Bell for 60 minutes plus of, of football, um, and the Steelers really have to be dictating play and then playing fairly flawlessly. I didn't think it was entirely fair that Ben Roethlisberger, you know, threw his young receivers under the bus um, after the AFC Championship game. They were definitely inexperienced and definitely made mistakes, but the Steelers were trying to come back against a team that makes it extremely difficult to do anything when the clock is not working for you and makes it difficult to do anything that is. So it it is fair to say that this is a Tomlin conversation. I think Tomlin gets a lot of unfair criticism. I also think Bill Belichick is a better coach than Mike Tomlin. So for the Steelers to beat the Patriots, they need some of the football chaos gods to help them arrange a game in such a way that the Steelers are able to control it. Uh, and Le'Veon Bell does have to have one of those 120, 150 couple score type games. Um, so they can do it, but it's a lot of things have to align for them. Whereas for the Patriots, really just a couple things have to, um, because Brady and Belichick being what they are, are, are relative constants. So, you know, it's not something you fire a coach over, obviously, but the Steelers' best path to a Super Bowl is probably someone beating the Patriots for them. That's unfortunate if you're a Steelers fan. It's a fact of life if you're really anyone else who follows the NFL. So to answer your question, I hope I did. Yes, but it's as hard as you think it is.